Hey, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Going to show you guys how to root your G1. Uh, first things first, go to our site, TheUnlocker.com. Spell like that, so it's minus the E. Once you get there, you're going to go down to Select Category. And click on How To's, which is down there. Find the How To Gain Root Access video. Scroll down the text right beneath the video. And if you want, you can read this first thing. Um, it's basically just a beginner's guide on some of the terms that we're going to use, what rooting really does, what the benefits are, that type of stuff. Um, but the reason really why we're here is because we need you to download these three files. So download each one of these. And then once it's done, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, once you've downloaded the three files and they're on your computer, you take your G1, plug in the USB cable, notification is going to pop up. We're going to pull that down, click on it, click mount. This is going to allow you to transfer stuff to the SD card. So now we're looking at the computer. Wait a second. Okay. Now this has popped up. We're going to hit open folder to view files. Move this over to the side, and we'll do the same with this. Okay, now the three files that we downloaded. First off, the one with the RC29, we gotta right click that and hit extract here. And once it's done doing that, we're gonna take the dream img.nbh file, the recovery file, and the update file, and we are going to drag them over and copy them to our SD card. This will take a few minutes, maybe a minute. So once it's done doing that, we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, now that the files are on your SD card and on your G1, we're going to turn off the phone and then we're going to turn it back on. But the way we're going to turn it back on, we're going to hold down the power button and the camera button at the same time. And you see a little screen pop up. Now, yours will, might not look like this, um, but regardless, it's going to say uh, proceed with update, something like that. Just follow the on screen steps until you're completely done. You're going to reboot the phone. And then we're going to go on to the next step. Okay, now after you've done that update, we're going to open the keyboard. You're going to hit enter twice. Type in telnet D, which is T-E-L-N-E-T-D, all one word. And then hit enter again. And if the contact screen comes up, just ignore it, it's fine. And then... After we do that, we're going to open up the market. Market. And we're going to search for Telnet. download the one called Telnet, click install, click OK, now let that install. Once that's done installing, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so once you've downloaded the Telnet application, you're going to open it, um, click on connect to local host and then you should see a, uh, a that symbol, the number sign, I guess, right? Um, I'm going to do it in Notepad because I've already rooted the phone and I don't want to mess anything up by trying to do it over again. Um, so when you see the little number symbol, the pound symbol, we're going to start typing. We're going to type mount. My alt key doesn't work. O oh. space R W.
T T and then hit enter. But make sure that you have the spaces in the right place. Notice there's no space next to this comma. There's a space in between here, okay? And there's a space between there, space between there. No space between the dev and the block with the, the slash. Okay, so just make sure you do that, it's very important. Then hit enter to get to the next line. This should appear again after a few seconds. So then you're gonna type in I suck apparently. <laughs> SD card, enter again. This will come up. And then you're going to type. Oops. And then enter. This will come up. Again, don't type these little symbols. I'm just doing it to show you that they will show up while you're typing this in the application. Um, if they don't, don't worry about it, um, but they should. So no spaces before this, before what I'm typing. Just start typing, okay? Cat. Re okay. Recovery. Dot IMG. System recovery dot img enter after this let let last enter you can now turn off the phone by holding down the power button power off and then we'll go on to the next step okay so you're done typing everything that's on the application turn your phone off we're going to turn it back on but to turn it back on we're going to hold down the n key and the home key at the same time Keep holding them down. Okay, now you're probably not going to see this until after we do this last step, but every time after that and you do the uh, home and uh, power button, you'll see this. Um, it's just a little more user friendly. You probably have an exclamation point here or something of the sort. Um, what you can do is you're going to open the keyboard. You're going to hit Alt and L at the same time to get this menu to show up. Then you're going to hit Alt and S and let go. You'll see a little bar going across and it's doing its thing. Once it's completely done, it'll let you know. You can close this, hold down the back and the home button at the same time for a second or two, let go, and the phone will restart. Once it starts back up, you're all done. You now have root.